everyone needs a different amount of sleep, but you need to wake up and feel refreshed and ready for the day. And remember that when you wake up, these first few seconds or minute is when you can convince your subconscious whatever you want. The second you woke up, your brain is open for any suggestions. And I will share with you my one of the courses I did, how to get things changing, you know, in your life, in your habits, in your health, is always adding your name at the end of statement. So you heard about fake it until you make it, but it's very difficult to say I'm healthy, I'm happy, if you don't feel happy and you don't feel healthy. And the brain kicks in and says, no, no, you are not, you know, who are you lying to? But if you're saying, I'm healthy, I'm Modestus, I'm happy, I'm Modestus, brain has no power to reject that because the name is something that your brain and subconscious will take it as fact and will never resist. So whoever wants to be uh, more tidy, first thing when you wake up, you say, I'm tidy, I'm Modestus. If your problem is sleep, you wake up, you say, I have amazing deep sleep, I'm Modestus. So every statement or anything you want to improve in your life, in your health, in your relationships, you say it and finish with you who you are. Wow. So it's simple as that. And that's easiest way of resetting your subconscious and to make your subconscious believe that this new statement is true and that there is no resistance and no fight from your conscious mind saying, no, no, you had bad sleep tonight. So this is first and most simple way of improving your sleep, improving your health, improving your sex life, digestive system, whatever, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, uh, as I said, everyone should sway to ask how many hours they need. Everyone should sway to ask when they need to go to bed what is the best time for everyone it's different time someone needs to be in the bed by nine someone is okay going to bed at one but again everyone is different the key thing is that you should not have your phone beside your bed you should not have wi-fi beside your bed and if you need a phone for alarm put it on fly mode and or better buy just a alarm clock and uh, for people who are very sensitive and more and more my patients are complaining about EMFs and Wi-Fi's and everything, it's very good to switch off electricity in the bedroom. You usually know in your uh, switch box which is the bedroom electricity and you stop electricity coming to your bedroom because wires and the electricity socks beside the bed, they create magnetic field that affects people. Not everyone feels that, but I have patients who can feel that. Sure. I mean, I, I've heard of people who say, well, my Wi-Fi is not in my bedroom, it's downstairs, so why would I need to switch it off? And I think there is a lack of understanding that these Wi-Fi signals are very powerful yes. and, you know, people like BT are very very good at telling you that their Wi-Fi signal can reach every single corner of your house or your money back. So yes. they think because it's in another room, it's out of sight, out of mind. And that just is not true. They need to look at the line of sight. Maybe they need to turn it off at night. Maybe they need to get a timer that switches it off at night. Yes. But it's part of... It's the best investment, actually. Someone who have bad sleep to buy a timer, which automatically switches off your Wi-Fi at 10 or 11 or whenever you feel Mm -hmm. Whenever your sway test says you need to be in the bed. Before you fall asleep, it's very good routine to write down on the paper three things that you enjoyed today and you're grateful for. This is the hormonal reset. It's a treatment for women who have problems with periods, menopause. Writing three things down on paper what you're grateful for, why the day was great, and if you're in the mood, you can write what I would do better, you know, what I could have done better. 
you know, that's all. It takes like one or two minutes. You need to have a little paper book or piece of paper beside your bed and keep, keep a little diary. Don't do that on the phone. <laughs> do it on a paper. And uh, next thing is, of course, not to drink too much before going to bed because you will most likely need to wake up and go to the toilet. So from nine o'clock, you know, we should not drink anymore. Neither tea, neither water. It's if you thirsty, if you feel thirsty, it's okay to drink as much as you want till 9 p.m., but not after. And there are so many natural substances like melatonin, 5-HTP, uh, that help to increase melatonin. But most simple one is in the morning, if we have uh, even crappy morning, uh, getting out and looking towards the sunshine. You don't need to, it's op am amazing would be to have a sun and say hello to sun and, you know, do one or two minutes of actually um, saying, you know, thank you that I woke up today. But um, because most of us, we forget that we are mortal and the gift that we are given every morning by waking up is for reason. It's a day to do something, to be helpful, to be productive, to help others. And uh, I think this is the, the, the best start of the day when you say thank you because you woke up. <laughs> because every night 100,000 people around the world are not waking up. Well, that's the reality. Um, I heard it put a very nice way that uh, yesterday is history. Yes. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is the present, so treat it like to a gift. Yes, it, it, today is a gift, and it depends on you what you choose. You can choose to be happy and helpful and cheerful and grateful, or you can choose to be miserable unhappy, pain in ass, and whatever, you know, low vibration substance or animal.